Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you your Nichols Worth and today from Thomas Nelson as part of our full Nelson week we are featuring the NKJV and the KJV Compact McLaren. Now I'm going to tell you what, when I first heard these things were coming out, I'm not a big fan of compact Bibles. I was thinking, you know what, I'm not going to like this. And I'd already made up my mind that I wasn't going to like it. But then when I opened the box and took a look at these things, I was just like, you know what, maybe I need to give them a chance. And then I fell in love. So let's take a look. First of all, we have the King James right here. And every King James Bible that I know of, I'm sure there are some that exist that are not verse by verse, are verse by verse. Now that is a small font. That is a seven point font. And when you compare it to this one, it looks woo, even smaller. But what you have to understand is, check this out. This is a six and a half by five and a half or four and a half uh, footprint. So this is, it's a little bit smaller than four and a half if you take off the cover, and it's a little bit smaller than six and a half if you take off the cover. It's more like, you know, a little more than uh, four and a quarter and six and a quarter. But anyway, it's edge line. Check that out. And perimeter gold, pretty nice corners, perimeter stitched, really nice spine hubs, and they have the gold accenting on the hubs. Uh, beautiful leather. I really, really like the leather too. Check it out. Really super sharp ribbons. For the King James Version, um, it is a black letter text, which is something that I really like. And I'll be honest, um, I don't have any trouble seeing this. This comfort print, I'm telling you, comfort print matters. Uh, a lot of people think that font size is the most important thing. And while that may be the case in some arenas, typesetting and the way a text is laid out, um, the leading space, and all these different things make a big difference. And this dark comfort print in the King James it's just super easy to read in this seven point font. So I absolutely love it. You'll notice that they have the blue accents that match your McLaren series. Um, they are a little more lean on the notes on the bottom. Uh, as in fact, I don't even see any notes at all in the King James. Uh, at the end, it does have your notes to the reader about the typeset and it has no maps. So now let's move into the New King James. The New King James, again, it has your same black and blue eighth inch ribbons. And the New King James actually does have some notes on the bottom. I wish they would have done that with the King James as well. But the big difference between these two is not just the footprint and the font size, but this is a paragraph layout to where this is a verse by verse layout, also sometimes popularly called a preaching layout. Now, when you call a Bible a preaching Bible, it really doesn't mean it's only for preachers. This is just speaking to a layout. Because see how the verses are on the edge, and each one is laid out really clear. And even in like the non-poetic settings, you're going to see the verses on the edge of the page. Very easy to find, bold and accented. This is so it's very easy to reference and find your place when you're preaching. That's not going to be the, the case with this little McLaren. And you'll, you'll also uh, see that it, it's going to have a difficult time laying flat. This is a tiny Bible. Its design is not to lay flat. Its design is to be able to be held in the palm of your hand. Let me check this out. Little bitty guy. Both of them. Look at this. Both of them. One hand. I can't believe how much I like these. I, I'm, I'm really surprised. Really super nice work on the gilding. Uh, they just really went for it on these little what I call baby McLarens. I love them. I wish the New King James would have been verse by verse format just like the King James. I don't quite understand that decision but this has got beautiful paper, beautiful line matching. I mean there's virtually no ghosting whatsoever. This layout is just outstanding um, to include even the verse by verse layout in the King James. Um, there's a little bit more ghosting when there's um, space because your verse by verse format will leave more open space but this isn't going to have a lot of margin space. It's not going to have a lot of uh, extras, but pretty slick. The New King James in the back also doesn't have any maps, but it does have some note pages in the back. I love it. The one thing I don't love is I wish they would stop putting the stamp of the ISBN number on the cover. Hey, Thomas Nelson, put it in the liner. That's where it goes. Anyhow, there you have it. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your next word.